Grant Shapps. Mr Speaker, like many in this House, I had the opportunity to both meet and speak to the Queen on numerous different occasions, but unfortunately the relationship didn't start particularly auspiciously. I was invited to Buckingham Palace for what other members will know is an ancient and complex process of becoming a Privy Councillor, so complicated that I was called to a side room with five colleagues to have the process explained. It seemed that we would enter into a large hall in Buckingham Palace, Her Majesty would stand at one end and we were told we would kneel on red cushions, going back some distance on our right knees, holding a Bible in our right hands, then we would switch that to our left hands, then take the Sovereign's hand with our right hand and brush her hand and then stand and say, Your Majesty, brush her hand. <laughs> Was that an instruction to brush her hand? <laughs> with my hand or my sleeve or a handkerchief and as about I was to ask, we were called in to the actual performance of the uh, great ceremony itself. No matter, I thought, I was fifth in the line to become a Privy Councillor. I would watch my colleagues, each of whom were swearing on the New Testament. I'm Jewish, I was swearing on the Old Testament. I was at the back of this line, I would watch what was happening. Unfortunately, as we went into this very large hallway, it was so long that I couldn't see what was happening, the ceremony at the front. And as I got closer, the field of view narrowed and the girth of my colleague in front of me widened. <laughs> and I still couldn't see uh, what brushing the hand actually entailed. And now with palpitations and nervously, I knelt in front of Her Majesty the Queen on the red cushion right before her. I switched the Bible, the Pentateuch, from the right to the left hand, stretched out my right hand. She stretched out her bare, ungloved right hand and, to my surprise, moved it towards my face. It moved towards my lips. I pursed my lips. It stuck. <laughs> and then, in what felt like an age, she was trying to pull it away and then suddenly <laughs> her hand pulled away. I wanted the ground beneath me in Buckingham Palace to swallow me whole, but I remembered to stand up. Your Majesty, I quavered. She looked me right in the eyes with those wonderful, sparkling eyes, and as if both to acknowledge what had happened and also to forgive me in one turn. She said, Yes. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, we never spoke of it again. <laughs> God save the King. Yeah. <laughs>